pretty sure that video cut off. So I think this is part three, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but back to the exterior, a little bit of um, making sure that the redirection away from the house is properly maintained there. And this is probably the least prettiest side of the house in terms of the trim, the soffit. Definitely is ready for some exterior paint on the home. Um, the property line doesn't seem so overgrown or anything. I mean, it is definitely overgrown. I'm, I'm assuming that this was once a storage shed. Um, so we need to just trim back some of that, maybe even haul off the storage shed because it doesn't seem like it's gonna be anything beneficial, but I'm not quite sure where the property line is. I do see a fence line in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So you might be able to correct me on that. Uh, no overhanging from these two trees in any capacity. Lot still nice and large. And yeah, so um, from what I can tell, roof still looks steady. I don't know if you can hear me from holding the camera up so high. Um, and unfortunately, I'm very short in nature. <laughs> um, but from what I can tell, roof still looks steady. Um, of course, we will have actually someone on the roof in just a few weeks doing gutter cleanings. Um, and so they can give me a more accurate description of what that roof looks like when that happens. But you can even see from this angle, the stoop is just really starting to crumble um, and lose some mortar. So I just want somebody to take a look at that and make sure, again, that it's just stable and everything looks great. Thank you. Oh, let's do the front of the house. So sorry. That might help you. Retainer walls still in good shape. Um, could use um, some gravel, like maybe a load or two of gravel, just to freshen up the gravel. In terms of the front here, you're right, it could use some paint, maybe um, either sticking with the blue or going with a different color for shutters. Again, the soffit. I think the soffit is probably the one thing um, that most certainly has to happen, definitely, um, aside from those window frames. Cut back the bushes just a smidge. Get them just away from the foundation of the home so they're not, root balls are not going into the foundation of the home. Um, but it does seem as if water is being completely directed away from the house, so that's always wonderful. Always a great sign. All right, thank you.